after the end of the Korean War, uh, NATO and many other areas of the world, the United States started arming uh, the indigenous armies uh, as our bulwark against uh, the dreaded uh, red communist menace. A lot, number of other companies started making Garands at that time, uh, mainly in Italy. Uh, Beretta started making Garands, and Breda started making Garands. And we've got a sample here of a Breda gun. Now, when you look at it from a distance, you can actually see it doesn't look much different. They are totally identical in manufacturing tolerances and everything else. You can see on the side that this weapon was made by Beretta. This weapon was actually made uh, for uh, another European country. You can see on the back, as you can see, it doesn't say M1 rifle. The nomenclature is not the same. But in the dark, you couldn't tell the two weapons apart. Now, European guns are somewhat different than standard U.S. guns. I'm going to show you on the, you can take a look at the serial number here, and now I'm going to rotate the stock, and you can see. Now, what we're going to show you first here is, is a standard 30 odd 6 barrel. Uh, the op rod is about 23 and a half inches long. 30 odd 6 barrel, it'll have Winchester marks, it can have International Harvester, LMR, all the different companies that actually made barrels. Now, this barrel was the basis for two of the 308 conversions. The first conversion is the sleeve we all hear about. And what they do, because there's a difference in the length between a 308 and a 30-06, now we're going to go ahead and put our barrel in our receiver, like we did before. We're going to screw the barrel in by hand. Check where it sets. And we're going to take it, install it in our machine. Okay. Okay. Now that our receiver is seated, we're going to turn on OBS, all the thumb screws, lock the receiver in place. Okay. Receiver's totally rigid. Now at the other end, now that we built the 30 odd six rifle, there's a couple extra steps here for the people who are building a 308 rifle. Remember, we showed you the barrel differences and the op rod differences, so you want to make sure that you've got all your correct parts for the 308. But now we're going to take care of the magazine problem. There's a difference in length between the 308 and the 30-06. Now, all the Navy-style conversions, they use this plastic filler. Now, you can see there's...